We want a soup ladle. Fear me. Uh oh. Fear me. <laughs> Wielder of a soup ladle, a burning soup ladle, and a pot lid. So today we're going to be continuing our naked run in master mode. What if I just do this? Uh. Uh. Game? <laughs> Are you okay, game? Five minutes in the stream and we already broke the game. I think the English voice actor really nails the <laughs> smugness of Rivali. Like, it's just asinine. Yeah, I hate listening to him, so this is a good job. Yeah. You just want to smack him in the face. Oh, mistakes. So, we need, uh, some way to combat the cold. We do have sautéed peppers, so let's eat one. Oh, it's very cold. <laughs> this might be a problem. That's also a problem. Alright, let's not use a soup ladle. <laughs> So, here's the thing, right? We can't wear clothes. So my thinking is, we're gonna have to have some cold resistance food, which we have, as well as fire. Now to get fire, we ideally would need flint and wood. We however do not have flint, we're gonna have to find some flint. Now ideally, we would find some rocks to smash. But I don't see any rocks <laughs> to smash. There's there's a mountain nearby. And I believe the the chasm is there too. Surely there's stones in there. Talus might have flint. Okay, it only did it only did a quarter heart of damage. It's a lot more than a quarter heart that time. There we go. Now, the moment of truth didn't give us flint. <laughs> no. Did not give us flint. I think you should be coming across some in this area, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. You know what would be really nice right now? A horse? <laughs> We're gonna use the, the whistle technique. Which is basically, you hold the whistle button down, and then you keep tapping B. Tell me how that's not pressed. There we go. Hello? <laughs> this game hates me. <laughs> um, these are technically stones. Oh! <gasps> got flint. <gasps> More flint. Wait, this is genius. <laughs> Thank you for the sacrifice, baby Talos. Exactly. More useful than the mother. Okay, you never see any female Gorons. Only male Gorons. Or you could assume they're- maybe they're genderless. Regardless, how do they- how do they- Like, how do they- How do they exist? You know, how do they become Gorons? Like, what is a Goron? Do they just spawn from the earth? The Goron in Gerudo Town comments on the fact that they let him in despite him being a guy. So they at least have genders. Okay. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to think. Like, how, how do, how do Gorons appear? Can I just take a rock and then they turn into a Goron? And Gorons eat rocks. Is it cannibalism? Are they made of rocks? Are they even made of rocks? Are they just highly evolved rocks? What are their eyes made of? I'm gonna chop down some trees. That'll allow me to make some fires. I think in theory I would only need one flint. I might need more than one. Um, I might need this tree branch actually. I might need more than one torch. As long as I have enough wood, I could just light the initial wood with flint and then use the torch to make 
new campfires so that the fire never goes out of the torch. That sounds like it makes sense. You gotta be careful not to jump, drop too far down, draw your weapon, or put the torch away though. Yeah. You know, bombs can do anything. <laughs> you can fish with bombs, you can cut down trees with bombs. Whoa! No one saw that. Oh my gosh, he's looking so miserable, shivering while holding things? Yeah. Where did you come from? <laughs> okay. Real quick. Oh, that works. Actually, is fire gonna be enough to keep us warm? It is. So we didn't need the cold food. We just need a uh, fire. We can't dash, otherwise we're gonna put it away. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. Hide behind the trees. <laughs> the dangerous part is not having Link slip. <laughs> this is a real, real sketch. <laughs> I just realized if I hold on to the wood, the torch will stop. Is Link gonna slip down here? Maybe. You can jump though. It's a real sketch. <laughs> it's not every day you see topless Hylians around these parts. Let's bask it in. Bask it in. But let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. Because I just want to stand here looking at your wonderful topless self. I don't have to be rude. I don't have wings. I don't have brain. I don't have clothes. Okay, there's a theme going on here. I do, however, now have arrows. <laughs> so at least there's that. Three. Four. Five. Mm, I'm not sure about your fashion sense. It is an amazing fashion sense, my friend. His skin is so pink from the cold. Oh no. He's fine. He's fine. Just a little bit of a uh, frostbite. No big deal. Look at that. It's just pretending to be a pirate. Hey, that's one. <laughs> Dubious food. <laughs> Poor Link. He's like, what is this disgusting food you're feeding me? <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. Around here should be good. Yep. Okay, that's two. Three. He's technically the one who cooked it. We just we can't just be throwing out perfectly good ingredients just because they became a nasty dish. You're right. Link is not wasteful. I'm gonna wait for one more pass. That should be good. Okay, there we go. Now the real question is, do we need cold resistance when we're inside Vamido? As I so, we're on a time limit. <laughs> yeah, the boss battles are gonna suck. Um, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, it's cold, but if we step inside, it's still cold. Mm. We're gonna use this torch. We're gonna use some flint and some wood. But before we do that, let me shoot this eye to make sure that we don't need it and that maybe here will be okay nope we definitely need it okay how are we gonna do this because when we're flying we don't have access to fire so we're gonna really need to plan out where to go i was not looking at my health um but that's okay this is this is a pro strat okay because when we revive, we'll have full health. It's genius. And we have 32 seconds of cold resistance. There goes a bomb arrow, but that's okay. <laughs> it hit the eye, so it was, uh, it worked out? Question mark? Oh, shoot. 
Well, because the cold resistance doesn't seem to matter that much anyway. Uh, we might as well just not. <laughs> so I think for the boss, we're going to make a fire and that will be our safe spot. That will be the spot where we keep warm. So we'll just go to the fire whenever we need to stall out time. We're going to run out of food. <laughs> really should have got more flint. I'm sad. This is going horribly wrong. Do you know if wood can be ignited with bombs? Because that would be nice. Uh, it does not. It just destroys it. Oh, hello, scary monster. We're going to tilt the bird to neutral position so that the wood and the flint don't go flying everywhere. Come on, faster, 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 faster. Not a good time to sit. This wild berry really does not want to be cooked. It's the chosen one. A mirror to be cooked. Hello? Hang on, let's put it not on the fire, but right next to it. Yo, it's invincible. There we go. Alright. Cool. Right, 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 right. Plan it out. Plan it out before you walk. Ice arrows. Fire arrows would be nice. Okay. That's one. One down. Gonna uh, sacrifice a bit of health, presumably, to do this. Knight's bow. That is worth it. We can yeet this torch, and it'll still stay lit, which means we can put the wood on top of the torch and that would work. Is there any way for me to get this fire to the other side is what I'm trying to figure out. This was right after I opened the chest, so this is good. Will the fire be lit? Or will the campfire be lit? That's that's the better question. Why did it put me out here? And why do I have half a heart? I have many questions. <laughs> this is just going from bad to worse. We're going to test if bomb arrows work as fire arrows. Does not. <laughs> what about on a stick? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that works. So we can pick up the stick and set some fire. I'm gonna grab this chest while we're here. Claymore's nice. We should light a fire in here. Put it back in neutral. We're going to drop our tree branch. We're gonna shoot this eye so it can stop bothering us. We're gonna equip a bomb arrow. Shoot the tree branch and kill ourselves. Tree branch, eat it. You're gonna need to heal soon. You're gonna need to heal. <laughs> Go a little further away. Shoot the bomb arrow. Miss. Shoot the bomb arrow. We grab the tree branch. We should not grab the tree branch because we're gonna need to, uh, we're gonna need to put down a uh, wood. We're gonna put down the wood. Campfire's made, we can save the tree branch. All right, we're good, we're good. That was a lot of painful micromanaging there. I'm a little stressed out, not gonna lie. I'm also stressed, but impressed by your resolve. I honestly thought this isn't gonna work, but so far it's okay, given our circumstances. We're gonna run out of wood real soon. 
we're gonna have to manage our wood. I should have gotten more uh, wood, but I thought we didn't need that many. With four firewoods, we can go from here. So we have a campfire here right now. If we ever want to go on this side to the other wing, we're gonna need to light another campfire. And then if we ever want to go back to here, we're gonna light another campfire. So every time we go from one wing to the next, or whenever we pass the center, we're gonna have to light a fire. So we're gonna do as much as we can on this wing before we head back. Door opens, door opens. We get a terminal, all right. Three terminals remain. Oh my God, you, 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 you put out your torch link when you activated the terminal. There. You're almost there, Link. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Shut up, Ravali. I don't know the about this one over here, how to get that. But this one, this one, we're going to have to go under. We're going to have to go outside for a bit. So ideally, we'll have this torch lit as we make our way down. <laughs> I think this should be fine. Um, quick, 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 quick. What do we do? We put down the torch. We use another weapon. Kill this guy. Find the eyeball. If there's an eyeball. Oh shoot! I put away the torch. Uh. Uh. Panic. We may have to resort to using another fire here, which I did not want to. Or we could damage booster away, but we don't have that much food. We're gonna damage booster away, just briefly. We'll get over here. We should make a fire in here if possible. We need to drop a piece of wood first onto here. Then we're gonna have to grab a stick. We're gonna Get it over here. Pray it does not fly off. Okay. We're gonna make sure we don't have any weapon equipped. Pick up the tree branch. Light the fire. We can tilt the bird. Pull out not a bomb arrow. <laughs> We're gonna shoot this guy. We are burning. Uh, panic. Uh, it's okay. We're good. We're good. We're just gonna eat a toasty Hylian shroom. Let's use the torch. There is a terminal here. That opens that, so I will check that out, but I want warmth. Oh, that's this terminal. Ah, I see. I understand now. Yeah, we're banking on the fact that this torch never goes out, so... Alright, wish me luck! <laughs> okay. That's the last terminal. We're gonna save and reload, I think. So we can get to the main control unit faster. Regardless, we have this Dragon Bow Moblin Club to do damage to him. We have this Knight's nice Claymore to do damage with them. And we have Guardian Spear to deal damage from. So I think we have enough damage. In terms of arrows, we have enough, I believe. In terms of food, we have also enough. The janky part is to light a fire during the fight. We're gonna have to do that really quickly. I think the janky part is to stay near one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I just have to go to the fire every now and again. If we light a fire now, will it stay lit? We have three pieces of wood, so we could, we could try it out. In fact, what we could do is set up campfires, like multiple campfires. Like one in the middle, one on one side, and one on the other side. I think that I think that might work. But this is banking on the fact that the fires will stay lit. Free branch is lit. Pick up the unequip the weapon before you pick up the tree branch. 
Okay, that, that just destroyed the tree branch. <laughs> so we'll have the Dragon Bow Moblin Club as our means of laying it. We're gonna hold this, put it in the center over here, light this. You know, I said the Rito one would be easier than the Goron one. Which is why I went for this one first, but I feel like... I feel like this is pretty hard. <laughs> Granted, I came in pretty unprepared. But the Goron ones, I think I only need to just make a bunch of fireproof elixirs. Our fires have been set. If these fires go out, I'm gonna be kinda salty. Wouldn't blight Ganon. Please there be fire. Well, in the cutscene, there's no fire. Alright, the fire's here. Uh, bail, 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 bail. Go back to warmth. Where'd he go? Oh, hello. We're gonna shoot him with normal arrows first. One, two... I might die here. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Don't use the torch. <laughs> use the claymore. Okay, not many hits. Go back to the fire. Save that stamina, you're gonna need it. He's regenerating health. That's just, that's just lovely. We're gonna have to hit, we're gonna have to hit him now and again so he doesn't regenerate health. That's one. That's two. Oof. Okay, I can't stay still. <laughs> Do I have to hit him three times in a row in the eye? I thought it had to be like three times in general. New strat. We're out of uh, stamina. <laughs> this is a real test of uh, micromanaging. I have to make sure my stamina doesn't run out. I have to make sure I don't die of cold by standing near the fire. I need to make sure I'm hitting him enough. Yeah, it's it's many it's many things, but it's doable. I just have to play a little smarter. We're gonna set up multiple fires, and they're gonna be nearby. I need a little bit of a bigger arena for me to work around with. I know I'm not in the fire. It's okay, I can tank some shots, I think. I just want to be able to shoot him. Oh, second phase. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Second phase is not too bad. Highly stressful. <laughs> Yo, this fire strat is, well, straight fire. Yeah. The best way to dodge a tornado is probably is to just run towards him because they kind of track you i feel it's okay we're getting we're getting further and further each attempt i might want to save the bomb arrows for the second phase just so i can bring him down faster so i don't have to deal with the second phase that long i'm gonna eat the mighty mushroom skewer just because code resistance doesn't do anything for us anyway so we might as well have the attack up you can always go farm and TP back. Yo, but Axel, that's the coward's way out. Nice. This is tough because... Oh my god, please. <laughs> no! Tragic! <laughs> go, Link! Keep going! <laughs> One, two... Second base. Okay. 
This is fine. We have bomb arrows. Okay, we're just gonna chill here. This is okay. We did it! <laughs> ah. The naked run continues. Nudity always prevails. All right, chat, I'm gonna need your help, okay? What do you think about not grabbing this heart container and also doing a three heart run? Cause we're clothless anyway, so we're gonna die pretty quickly. Regardless, please take the heart. Okay, fine, I'll take the heart. <laughs> Don't do it. Y'all are cowards. Cowards, all of you. You still gotta get through Lava Mountain. Lava Mountain? After doing this, I feel like Lava Mountain, it's going to be a breeze. It's going to be a chill time. Quite the opposite, but it's going to be a chill time. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. I guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. <laughs> I hope that luck holds out, Link. Even when Ravali is being nice, he's still a jerk. <laughs> it's just all luck. No skill. No skill involved. No campfire setups. No, no, no excessive uh, bullet time usage of shooting arrows. No, no quick dodges. No clothes. You think luck car carve these calves? Yeah, look at these calves. Look at Link's calves. Just bask in all its glory. There's some sentimental value to pieces of wood now <laughs> that I did not have before. Okay. Oh, wood, never leave me again. Get out, Axel. Now you got me thinking of, of wood puns, but for the life of me, I can't think of any. I birch, you can't think of any. Agreed, but you've always been a stick in the mud. We're also gonna run out of these puns soon, so we should probably branch out to other topics. I won't want you to get bored of the puns. It's getting a lot harder to think of of more puns too. In fact, I would say I'm stumped. You're a monster? I can't believe you'd just bark out puns like that. I'm not that much of a monster. Right? I'm enjoying this nice music. So there is some part of me that's a real sap for this type of stuff. My eyes rolled so hard they fell out, now I can't find them. Excuse me, Elliot, that's not a pun. Get your punless messages out of here. True, you've really spruced up your gameplay. See, Axel knows what's up. Hey, uh, Elliot, go pack up your trunk and get out of here. I'm kidding, please come back. <laughs> I hope you know all of this is being logged. I may pull a brain muscle if I think too hard about this. I'm gonna have to cypress I'm gonna have to cypress you to continue thinking of puns. I'm going I'm gonna have to sup oh suppress you to continue thinking of puns. I get it. No, just press? Oh. I'm going to have to press you, say press you, to continue thinking of puns. Well, if you insist, um, are you sure you're not gonna get sick of more of these puns? I won't get sick, not until your elm eliminated. It's okay, Elliot, you didn't miss much. You just missed a, a pun battle. You didn't miss much. Um, so don't pine over it too much. He took pine from me? Well, Axel, don't pine too much about that either. Well, forget it. I'll just think of a different tree. Well, for your information, I already used fur before. Yeah. But 
Do not sweat it. It's not a big deal. I hope you enjoyed these terrible puns that stemmed from... Wait, where did it stem from? Hang on, hang on. How did this start? Uh, that stemmed from grabbing pieces of wood from the stable. I'll just willow in my defeat. Yeah, you better do that, Axel. You should just go back to your roots of being bad. Got him! Axel says, Birch. I'll let you guys decide what that means. What a corny stream? I'm back! Hello, Axel! Anyway, all I wanted to get, uh, all I wanted to say was hope you all will treat yourselves to a nice sleep. Yeah, that that that's it. Hey! Oh wait, wrong screen. Let's try it again. Uh, let's go from this one. Hey! Look, I know I said I was gonna be gone, but y'all are making puns. I have to read them out for, you know, highlight purposes. So, uh, Elliot says, y'all, don't be acting, acting seedy this holiday season. And Axel says, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume he's still here. And you know what? You're right. I am still here. You know why? Because because I was going to reply to Elliot's comment about don't be acting seedy this holiday season. And my response is oak K.